Welcome to another video. So this is a Hyundai Santa Fe GLS 2008. Pretty much all these Hondas are very, very similar if they're not identical uh, in this year range and all. But what we're going to be redo doing is replacing the front wheel hub assembly or bearing. So before it was typically, you know, a bearing. Now today, everything, almost all your vehicles come with a hub assembly, they call them. Everything together and it bolts on one piece, you know, boom, you're done. So, <clears throat> at any rate, if you're getting a lot of noisy, real noisy while you're driving down the road or you're getting some vibration and what have you like that, you know, it's time for a wheel hub assembly. It's not uncommon, it's just a wear item. Um, and they're not hard to change. If you take it to a shop, you're talking probably five, six hundred dollars. You know, you can do it. Like I think this was a hundred between 135, 140. You know, a couple hours work, and you're done. So at any rate, the first thing we got to do is we got to remove the brake caliper. So there's just two bolts, one at the top here, one at the bottom here. You take those two bolts out, and then. <clears throat> I pry back on the pad with a you know a little pry bar. Try not to hit the pad itself. Stay on the metal because you hit the pad, you know you'll chip it and crack it. It won't hurt too much, but it will. But you almost always have a ridge right here that you need to come over when you pull your caliber off. So if you pry back on it a little bit, it makes it easy to just come right off. So we're going to go ahead and do that first, and then we'll move on and see what's next. Look. Okay, so with that loose, next thing we want to do is we want to take the center nut off. So I already squeezed, uh, it's got a cotter pin in there. I already squeezed the cotter pin together and you just kind of tap it out, pull it out with a pair of pliers, chain locks, whatever like that. And then we take the center nut off. So we're going to go ahead and do that next and then we'll keep moving. Okay, so nut off. Next thing we got to do is... We gotta get this bracket off. But the way we do this, if you can see down in here, there is a bolt right here that holds a bracket on for your caliber. And you can't really get to it. It's in a bed in the way, I guess. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, loose from our strut. So we need to take these two bolts out. And then we're gonna, uh, move this down a little bit so you may need to stick something in here as you can see this one's been on there probably from day one it's got a little bit of rust it might be a little bit of rust you may need need to tap on it break it loose a little bit but yeah we'll take those bolts out and then we'll be able to move this whole assembly out so we can get to the other parts of it so we're going to take care of that next okay so now we're getting somewhere you see how that just comes out of there so now, as you can see, there's two bolts here that hold on this bracket. We need to get that off, and then we can move on after we get that off. But, uh, yeah, let's get that off, and then we'll see what's next. You also be careful, don't break your uh, wheel sensor here. It puts a lot of strain on it. You probably want to pop it out of there and maybe take the bolt loose so it has some slack so you're not straining on it which I didn't do, but we're going to get that done. So we'll get that done and then we'll move on. Okay, so with that off, next thing we got to do, if you look back here, there's four bolts that hold the hub assembly on. So we got to take those loose. So to look at it, you got four bolts. And as, as you can see, they are offset. They, in other words, are, it goes a certain way, but you can only put it in one way. So that's not a problem. So yeah, so there's four bolts. We need to take those loose and then we'll be able to move on and get this thing changed. Okay, so you see this little bolt right here? It's not coming out. Those bolts were in there tight. So I got the other three out. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take this whole assembly off and I can lay it on the ground flat to where I can get on that bolt the way I need to because it's just not letting me get torque and all on it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this nut and 
cotter pin out for your bottom ball joint and it's got a gap here you can spread it apart a little bit and pop it off the bottom and then over here I'm gonna have to take it loose from the tie rod end so I'm gonna take that loose and then also don't forget your speed sensor here uh, get that loose and this whole assembly is going to come off I'll show you in just a sec and then we'll be able to get to that bolt and take it loose so let's get that done and then we'll move on okay so I got it out um, as you can see I didn't all the way remove it from the bottom ball joint I took the tie rod end loose uh, but that gave me once I took the tie rod end loose and that bolt out it gave me enough leverage that I could get straight on it so the problem was you can get on there with a swivel but I couldn't get enough torque on it you know these they, they were really in there tight so I couldn't get enough torque to take it loose so at any rate, uh, we got that, all the bolts loose. Next thing we got to do is if you look in the front of the rotor, there's two Phillips screws. So we need to take those out so we can get the rotor off of there. You can take the rotor off to begin with, but it, you know, I left it on there, give me a little more leverage and what have you like that. So we're going to go ahead and get the rotor off and then we'll move on. Okay, as you can see, I got all these bolts out there's four of them now I always tell people you know be careful forcing things sometime there's probably still the bolt in it so double check make sure you're loose this one the uh, the axles loose you can see it's not binding at all but that thing is rusted on there so this car eventually originally came from the north north people love their salt I'm from like right around DC so I'm in the middle I only like salt a little bit so that's what you get. So I'm going to have to, you know, maybe get my air chisel out and try to get behind it and knock it off. So we'll see what we got. We get it off of there. Okay, so I got it out of there. And yeah, I did have to use an air chisel on it. Um, I imagine if you beat on it enough, it'll come out if it's that way. I've changed these in many a car and truck, and I've never had one that tight. So anyway... You can tell it was rusted there. If you look inside, there's all kind of rust and everything. So, I mean, I'm going to clean that up real good, put some anti-seize on there. That way, I'll never have that problem again. But as you can see, you know, it just slides over the axle and goes on there. And uh, so when you put the new one on, just slide it on, put your bolts. I always use uh, Loctite on these bolts. They're important that they don't come loose at all. Um, and just a hint, depending, I'll tell you, I've put things back together before, and I realized that this splash guard here, I bent it a little bit, trying to knock that off or do this or do that, and it'll rub a little bit. And you hear this metal to metal sound terrible when you drive down the road and you have to take it back apart and figure out where it's hitting. So double check yourself, just, you know, make sure that you clear everything. So they put some Loctite on the, uh, main hub bolts put your new bearing on stick it back together and you're good to go so i hope this helps you out and thank you for watching be sure to subscribe we got tons of videos on all kinds of cars and trucks and everything else and you have a pleasant day and thank you for watching